Hey guys, so I'm basically making a tutorial on how to hot swap Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox 360 Slim. I've looked around various forums, websites, videos, everything, and I've not found any methods to do this on the Slim. I've only found one or two videos on how to do it on the fat Xbox, which requires you to swap it with the Rockstar logo. Now, the reason you can't do the same thing on the Slim is because of the hardware build with the Slim, where it was, well, they tried to prevent hot swapping by... Making it so if you remove a disc from the drive, the laser can't find the disc, it stops the motor. Um, I found a way around this, and that is basically what I'm going to show you. I'm going to have to explain it at first, because um, I'm going to have to put the camera down when I do it, because I don't have two free hands. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the game up. The screen's going to go black. As soon as the laser starts moving, um, I'm going to swap the disc with the modded disc. Um, but... Like I said, the slim won't spin the disc up. So what you got to do is manually spin it clockwise with your finger as fast as you can, and then eventually the laser will pick up the disc and then it will start to spin again. Um, this can take a couple of attempts because sometimes the motor likes to turn backwards. Um, no idea why, it just starts going backwards. Uh, if it does start going backwards, you want to prevent that, you want to turn off your Xbox, so you don't want to burn out the motor. Um, so yeah, I'm basically going to do that. So I'm going to turn on my Xbox. Retail disc in there at the moment. Put my modded disc there on the carpet. Probably not wise, but hey. So it's starting up as normal. Just going to make sure this disc isn't dirty. Because I've swapped it a few times. Okay. We've got to go to the dashboard. Like I said, I'm going to have to put the camera down when I do it. Because I don't have two free hands, so I'll have to invest in a tripod. I will say this video is lower quality than my other videos I've recorded previously because I'm recording on my iPhone. Um, because I let a friend borrow my proper camera for vlogs, seeing as I wasn't using it. Which I would like back, by the way, if you're watching this. <laughs> Um, okay, so it comes up with, hold on, uh, on the dashboard you just want to click play, grant the top 5, and the screen is going to go black, um, the laser is going to stay still like it is now, and then uh, all of a sudden it will start moving. Um, you want to swap it as quickly as you can as soon as it starts moving, um, and then like I said, spin the disc up manually with your finger, spinning the disc in a cl clockwise direction, as fast as you can, clockwise, not clockwise. Uh, uh, spin it as fast as you can, and then eventually the laser will pick it up if you spin it fast enough. Um, and it will spin it by itself. The motor will kick in. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. So I'm going to put the camera down, and then I will pick up the camera when I have a hand free. Here goes. Okay, so I just started it. Laser stopped moving. Since it starts to move, there we go, swap. Come on, magnet, get on there. Like I said, this doesn't work every time. May have to do it again. Doesn't appear to be working. It's just spinning backwards. See, now it's going the right way, but it's not doing anything. There we go. Back to the dashboard, just going readable. It's all down to timing. If you get the timing wrong, it won't work. Oh, this is hard to do because the only problem with hot swapping with the Xbox Slim is you've got this big ass fan there blowing hot air straight up at you makes it even harder to work. Well done Microsoft to see what you've done. Okay, so the retail disc is back in there. Wait for it to say play GTA 5. There we go. Put the camera down again. Alright, I'm gonna wait until it's moved a little bit more this time. Okay, there we go. Let's get that in there. As quickly as I can. Want the magnet stick. 
There we go, that's more like it. I'm just spin it with my finger. Here we go. All of a sudden the motor takes it away. It's in the motor's control now. So as you can see, it's spinning it. The laser's not moved yet, it's just checking the disc. Like I say, it doesn't work every time. It's down to timing. You are much better off trying to get hold of a fat Xbox if you want to do this, but as you can see, it is reading the modded disc. That's coming off of the modded disc there, so... So yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching.